evening. My name is Ayanna Porter, and today I will be giving an informative speech on the history of makeup. Did you know that for about 7,000 years, there has been a tool that has helped revolutionize the way men and women have transformed or even enhanced their appearance? Well, there is. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we call that tool makeup. Now, many believe or many feel that makeup helps build self-esteem, gives confidence, and self-empowers an individual to make them feel confident in their own skin, whether they suffer from acne issues or other problems. Now, the history of makeup, though, through three generations specifically, have influenced our society in numerous ways. So to begin our speech, I will begin and discuss the beginning of makeup. Now, as I said before, makeup dates back to thousands of years ago. During the Regency era, women would use poisonous belladonias to make their eyes appear more luminous in the 1800s. Also, by getting their makeup, pharmacists would administer it, including ingredients in their makeup like mercury and nitric acid, which is very dangerous for us. Now, according to Edmonds, it can be said that the first prototype of using makeup or cosmetics dates all the way back to ancient Egypt, specifically to Queen Cleopatra, where she used lipstick that was made out of ground carnine beetles. Now, that's interesting because we also see from other cultures that they mixed clay with water to achieve their hue for their lips, the lip texture. So after discussing a little bit about its history, let's now transition to the three generations I mentioned earlier that has helped progress makeup, namely the 50s, the 90s, and the 2000s. Makeup in the 50s was considered glamorous. This decade was named the Glamour Decade. If you can guess why, it's because women focused on creams, foundations, and shadows to achieve a glamorous and celebrity look. Now, this era was also named the Mask Effect Era. This is where many women used to apply thick, creamy, applications of foundation and flesh colored powders to set their look to stun individuals, specifically men. Now, even though the 50s were all about glamour and glamorous things, the 90s were all about making a statement. And that statement was about their beauty. Now, instead of focusing on creams and foundations, the 90s actually focused on their eyes, their brows, and their lips. Now, the 90s grabbed a little bit of everything from their predecessor decades. For example, heavy smoky eye from the 30s, I believe, and contouring and pale complexion from the Regency era. Now, we can see how the 90s can be considered the decade that changed the ideal face of makeup because women and men were all expressing themselves either boldly or extravagantly. Now, although we say the 90s is the ideal game changer of makeup, the 2000s actually had a big impact on makeup where people focused on the glitz and shine of the face. They went from having normal eyeshadow and contour to bam, glittery, shiny, and very detailed facial makeup. Now, though makeup has been around for generations, more than these three generations we've discussed, let's see how it influences our society. Nowadays, makeup has become a social norm to where we don't have to question why people decide to wear makeup. It's just a part of their daily routine and activities. 
Yet, Greenwall from Fem Magazine says, and I quote, society has constructed the idea that using makeup is an activity women do because it is inherently a product of being female, end of quote. Now, we see this is true because society often tries to force the idea that having makeup on is considered to be the natural or bare face of an individual. Yet, even though this happens, we see that makeup influences our world significantly because those who do wear it or tend to wear it sometimes are often characterized as being more attractive and appealing to others. Yet those who do not wear it are sometimes shunned and looked down upon. And an example of that would be when a celebrity walked into a grocery store and was immediately criticized by fans and people on the internet because she had no makeup on. She was considered unappealing and manly. In conclusion, some may feel that makeup is a very important and critical tool and others may not. Yet, makeup has grown over the years and significantly influenced our world. So to cap off our speech today, ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to remember that the true beauty of someone is what is inside of them that makes them beauty, beautiful, not what they wear on their face.